guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with another incredible bins haul. This was one of those bins hauls that I was in and out super quick, like early, early morning. I went in that week between Christmas and New Year's, which, you know, if you have the opportunity to avoid that week, I would do it. It's, you know, high schools are out, so there's always a lot of kids. Colleges are out, there's always a lot of college kids there. Um, and it can get a little crazy and frenetic, but you know, if I'm getting there at seven in the morning, chances are there's not many people under the age of 25 <laughs> gonna be there. You know, they're hopefully still out partying and having a good time the night before. But first and foremost, if you are new here, welcome, welcome aboard. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that is something that you are into, uh, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. Uh, we are building this incredible community of fellow thrifters and vintage lovers and resellers. Uh, if that's something you're into, follow along. But let's get into this haul, guys. I think I have 38 pieces. I've got some really cool pieces, some great Bolo brands for you to check out. So I've got, I've got my, Mega Matcha Latte, I suggest you get a snack, get a drink, sit back, relax, and let's get into the goods. Okay, so we're gonna start with a vintage piece, and this is something like, I, you know, if getting into like vintage streetwear, vintage stuff to sell to that kind of crowd, um, there are a million other resellers out there that you should listen to, <laughs> but I know a little bit, so, you know, for you guys, if you're out, if you happen to spot something like this that hasn't been picked up by a reseller who does this, uh, I, you know, I want you to grab it because, you know, there's money to be made, but this was something that I found, and this is a vintage hat from the Sturgis, the Black Hills Rally, uh, it's held up in, I think it's, is it North Dakota? I should know this. Everybody in my family rides motorcycles. Anyway, um, Sturgis, anything Harley Davidson, anything like Indian motorcycles, Triumph, whatever, um, anything kind of pre-2000 is gonna have pretty high demand. Obviously, I'm speaking right now for like when I'm filming this video, it might not be the case down the road, but I think that there's always gonna be motorcycle guys or guys that are into this kind of stuff. I paid a dollar for this, I'll probably get 30 to $40, that's kind of the going rate for vintage uh, Sturgis hats. This is from 1993, the 53rd annual, I don't know if you can see that. But just something to be on the lookout for. Like I said, for the most part, especially in bins, you're gonna have guys that are there specifically looking for this kind of stuff. And they're not necessarily gonna be looking for the kind of stuff that I typically pick up. Um, but if you happen to find it, grab it for yourself or if you're looking to like ingratiate yourself with the guys that are in this you know because they can dominate a bins location you know you find something like this hand it to them you, they will be in your debt they will they will you know i got you so very cool find next up here i have a very wrinkled dress <laughs> it is linen of course but this is from bowden and bowden is a british i think they're british company that is just you know they're kind of in that same price range as like a J. Jill or a Chico's, but everything I have ever had or sold from them, the quality is unbelievable. Like they use really good textiles, their finishing's really nice. I find personally that they are a little bit better quality than Chico's and, um, and J. Jill, which is saying something because their quality is really nice, but I think that Bowdoin is a little bit nicer. And this is just a cute little cap sleeve brown linen, uh, dress. It's a size 10. It's got a little drawstring waist. It's got this kind of faux wrap neckline. It's got a lot going for it and it's in fantastic condition. Uh, probably somewhere between 30 and $40 on this. Also, if you happen to find Bowdoin Kids, um, I almost never find them in the bins. Their Bowdoin Kids, their Bowdoin Kids line is so nice. Again, really well made, wears well, it washes well. You know, it's just something that I, a lot of my like friends who are moms of multiple kids, they've bought, you know, Bowdoin stuff and it's been worn by all their kids and they've been able to sell it. So just a, a hot tip, if you haven't been keeping your eyes out for Bowdoin, for sure do it. Um, and of course, if you're shopping for yourself, look for Bowdoin because their quality is like money. Next up, now I found this and I immediately had flashbacks back to the early 2000s. Uh, when I wore stuff like this and this I found and I felt the quality on it. I'm like, this is really nice. I think this is hundred percent cotton, but this is a dress. 
like a mini mini dress it's got all these little strings that kind of tie in the back with little butterfly charms at the end and the brand on this and this is a bolo brand i want you to keep your eyes out for it the brand on this is i am gia and this is the kind of clothes that they make like really fun flirty revealing like going out to the club partying with your friends kind of stuff and they're very expensive this dress new was probably in the 150 dollar range and it's small like this is a small uh, dress and you know it is a brand that is looked it's it's looked for it's really sought after people search for it by name so definitely keep your eyes out for that it was such a cool find and I just I I just have so much respect for the girls with the confidence to wear something like that like I just I love it I love to see it next up now this is not something that I've really dipped my toe into but I found a couple pieces and they're real silk and you know, I like I just can't walk away from real silk in good condition. So this is like a little nighty from Victoria's Secret. And look at this silk bottom. Isn't this beautiful print? It's uh, I think it's a size large. Yeah, it's a size large. It's got, you know, these kind of sheer um, lace cups here and it's got a like lace up tie back. Uh, again, a size large slit up the side and this is in perfect condition. These went for, I don't think this is super old. I'm gonna guess this is probably from the last 10 years or so. If you can find something with a Victoria's Secret label where the lettering is done in gold, grab it. It is in super high demand. It's referred to as like Victoria's Secret gold label if you wanna go and like search and see some of the prices for yourself. Um, but maybe you even have some pieces like in your closet from back in the day. You know, the gold labels are in demand. People wear them as clothes now. Um, anyway, so I thought that was super cute. I, you know, I have no idea what I'm going to get for this. I see things that are selling $15 and I see things that are selling for, you know, $80. I'm going to guess somewhere maybe 25 to 30 on this. So uh, this is kind of a test for me. Um, I'm interested to see how that does though, but it is beautiful. I mean, worst case scenario, and I need to stop doing this, you know, keep it just for the fabric. Now, next up, this is a brand I want you to keep your eyes out for. This piece in particular, it looks like there's a lot of them on the market right now. There might have been like an overstock that hit like thrift stores or something, uh, which is something that happens. Like sometimes you'll find a really high end piece and you'll find three or four of them. You can generally guess that every other thrift store in the area also has three or four of them that was some kind of liquidation or they were getting rid of old dead stock um might have been a situation like this with this although this one was used this is not brand new with tags but this brand is katie keim i think this is an older tag katie keim makes the coolest prints she's known in particular for her twalls like if you're if you don't know what a toile is, just Google it. You will immediately know what I'm talking about. It's usually like a white background with a really intricate like blue or green design, like depicting a scene. Um, but she's known for doing her regional toiles. So she'll have like a Brooklyn toile or a Dallas toile or a like a Nashville toile. And it'll be like the scene that they have instead of being like the traditional like French pastoral scene will be like, you know, downtown Nashville. Or, you know, in Brooklyn, it'll be like a brewery and this and that, you know, with the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, definitely keep your eye out for her. And also, if you're looking for like a gift idea for a birthday or like a bachelorette party or something, um, Katie Kime makes these great pajamas in that toile fabric. It's just something really unique and very, um, you know, you got a friend that lives in Brooklyn, like they would love that Brooklyn toile. Like it's just a thoughtful little gift. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I might get... 20 bucks on this like i said there's a lot of this particular skirt on the market um but yeah a brand to be on the lookout for and you know a brand to just keep in mind if you're looking for like a unique gift for somebody next uh now this is i found a master's polo for the from my last haul and this is kind of in the same vein this is like a little nike dry fit shirt from tokyo 2020. now <clears throat> i was over in tokyo right before not right before 2020 obviously that was a whole <laughs> a whole disaster uh, but I remember there being stores there that were selling I was there in 2019 I remember there being stores there that were selling Tokyo 2020 merch so I don't really know what I'm gonna get for this this does have the um, NBC peacock on it so this might have been something that came from like a broadcaster or something that like an athlete wore 
um, you know, while they were interviewing, whatever it is, I, you know, I'm interested to see, like, you know, the Olympics, like the Masters are kind of a bucket list thing for a lot of people to do. So, you know, maybe, maybe this will be, fetch a good price. I don't know. I, the worst case scenario, 15 bucks. It's still a Nike dry fit chop. So, um, and it's a size small either way. Next up, uh, this is such a cute, I literally went in <laughs> this last time saying like, I just don't want to pick up a lot of free people stuff. You know, I feel like I have a lot of it in my closet. It's feeling a little saturated. And then I found just like such cool pieces that I couldn't leave them behind. I love this shirt. The shirt might not be leaving. Is it my size? It is a large. I love it. It's just kind of this cool, like blousey button down kind of peasant sleeves. It's got, um, I don't know what this fabric is. It's kind of like a loose, it's kind of gauzy, but it's somewhere in between like a gauze and like a tweed. So it's like the threads in it are a little bit heavier than a traditional gauze, but it feels super soft. I love the shape of it. I love the back. See how much like gathering there is along that back seam. Um, if I do sell this, somewhere between 25, probably 28 to 32 bucks on this. Um, it's really cool and I love this fabric. I really love this fabric. Next up here, oh, this was so pretty. This is from a brand called Joie. Think like Joie de Vivre. And they're pretty expensive. I'm not quite sure where they're sold. I'm assuming maybe like a Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue kind of store. But I do think that they might have sold in anthropology at, at least at some point. Um, I just thought that this dress was so stinking cute. It's like navy blue, it's a size small, and it's got this like little kind of like ruffle at the bottom. Look at the detail on the end of that ruffle. Do you see that little finished stitch there? That is the kind of stuff that just makes my heart pitter pat. You know, because it's the details, it's expensive to do. Like this is something that would typically have like a rolled hem, which is difficult to do like if you're a home sewer, but something like this is chef's kiss. Beautiful, super classic, navy blue, size small. It's got the little tassel strings in pretty much perfect condition. This new, I think was probably like 250 to $300. Um, so probably, I don't know, around 40 for that. Um, I just think it's so pretty. And it's again, in just perfect condition. I love finding joie and I rarely find it in very good condition. Next up, this is a Zara piece and I couldn't leave it behind. So again, it's got the little triangle on it. So this is gonna fit smaller. If you remember uh, the new on the new Zara tags, they have the symbols, the square, means that it's like the Zara basic line, so it's gonna fit pretty true to size. The circle means that it's Zara woman's, which means it's gonna fit a little bit bigger for the size, and the triangle means it's the um, the tariff, I think it's a tariff collection, which is more towards like uh, juniors, so it's gonna fit a little bit smaller for the size. But this is like a perfect little black long dress. It laces, it's got this gorgeous little ruche on the side, so the ruche has a little bit of give and it goes down to a slit. So this is just like a perfect little black gown that pretty much anybody can pull off and it's gonna do great things for anybody who puts this on. That ruching just really like sculpts a body. I like that it's got, um, they're not necessarily like built in cups, but there is a little bit of built in support there in the back. So you can see, you can probably go without a bra with this. And then it's got this, like this neckline I don't know if this is gonna show up in the camera. It's just so flattering. So it's got this molded cup here, and then it's got a cowl that goes in front of it. This is just like such a sexy look, and it does everything for a décolletage. Gorgeous little dress. I don't know, probably, probably 30 or 40 bucks on this, and it'll be a great dress. Whoever picks it up, that's gonna be like a staple in their closet. Next up, we've got another little Free People piece that I couldn't leave behind. This is like linen cotton. I love this like bell, like, this is so boho, this little bell sleeve. It's kind of a crop silhouette, little v-neck. It's, it's basically a t-shirt, but it's got a lot of interest to it. You see that kind of print? It's a size P, and the tag on it has this little like, almost like a pennant looking thing, like right behind that. I don't know if that means anything or if that's just a part of the design of this shirt, but you know, probably 20 bucks on this. Super, super cute. Next up, we've got another Victoria's Secret piece. This one's definitely older, 
maybe early 2000s, I'm guessing, with this tag. It's not quite the gold, but this is, this is not current at all. This is probably a good 20 years old. Another 100% silk. Cute little, like, nightgown situation. What size is this? The size tag's cut out, so I'm guessing that this is a small. This looks like a small. Maybe a medium. But it's this cute little pink, it's washable silk, it's got adjustable straps. Again, this is the kind of stuff that people are grabbing and they're like wearing under a leather jacket. I love that look, so always happy to supply that. Very cute, probably, I don't know, probably $20, $25 on that. Maybe a little bit more just due to the age. But I'm interested to see how these Victoria's Secret pieces sell. Like I'll, I'll try to include those at least in one of my short form videos. If, you know, I try to film a big video for the YouTube channel when I have enough sales to like make it interesting and worth your time investment and mine. Um, but typically when I ship, if I've got, you know, if I've got a couple things and it's not enough to make a big video, I'll do a short form for TikTok and Instagram. I will put my uh, handles down here if that is something you are interested in. Um, be sure to follow me there. I would love to see you on those platforms. Next up, now this is a brand for sure to be on the lookout for, and this is the first time I've ever found it. Um, unfortunately, it's a kid's piece, but it'll still go for a good amount, and that is Fairy. Let me get you close on that label there. And their stuff is really high quality. It kind of falls into like the outdoor, like the Patagonia world, um, but it is super in demand. And like these, there are a couple sold comps for these adorable little 2T uh, striped overalls. I kid you not, there are sold comps for $80 on these. So be on the lookout for this brand for sure. But also, how stinking adorable are these? I couldn't leave them behind. And I have a friend who's got a little baby girl and I'm like fighting myself. Do I just hold on, <laughs> hold on to those until she's two? Next up, oh my God, this is so cool. You know I love vintage. I am forever a vintage girl, forever and ever and ever. It's how I got my start. And look at, the, okay, so you can't tell. You can't feel what I'm holding in my hands, but this is a full suede skirt. Is that picking up at all on camera? So it's a wrap skirt that has this kind of cool like D-ring closure. It's by Dana Brooke. It's a size 10 and literally <laughs> out shell, 100% silky pig suede. I don't know why I wanted to read that, but that's the label. And this is in absolutely perfect condition. I can see any number of like fashion girlies right now putting this on with a pair of knee high boots and like a little cropped top and just rocking the heck out of this. I have no idea what I'm going to get for this. Somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks. It is in really good condition. Such an exciting find. Like I love finding vintage pieces like this that can easily be blend into today's fashion. You know, there's a lot of people who wear vintage and they pull the, you know, kind of crazy out there pieces and they make it work. Like that is something that I know how to buy for, but I don't know how to style. This is something that I could style and I will buy for it. So cool. Next up here, I love finding these and I never, ever, ever find them. If you guys watch McThriftsy, um, I'll link her channel down below. You should be following her anyway. She's been doing this for so long and she makes great content, but she finds these all the time in her bins and I never do. <laughs> like if I do, they are ripped to shreds. But this is like a little intimately free people, little dress with lace insets. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? I love this. Like, again, something I could see a cool girl throwing a leather jacket over. It's a size medium, which is good to find. Usually when I do find these, these are in size small. And it's just like the ever so, like, I love the fabric. I think this is a lyocell of some sort, but it just feels like feather-like cotton to me. It's just so cute. And this is in fantastic condition. Probably $35 to $40 on this. These go fast. If you can find them, they go fast and for a great price. Next up here, another, another free people piece that I couldn't leave behind. And I have sold, I think, four of these dresses. This is called, I think, the tree swing dress. And it's just like a little swing dress. This is the first one I've ever found in white. Usually I find them in uh, black. They have little pockets, which everybody loves a pocket. Um, they have this cute little, like, 
that's the neckline, right? So this button's right around here and then you have like a little V. Um, these sell pretty quick for me, generally 30, 35 bucks. Uh, this is a size medium. Again, I usually find them in a size small. Again, I have sold four of these, so I know that this is a safe bet. Uh, very, very cute. It's kind of like gauzy, swingy, very summery. Next up, now this is a pair of jeans. Now, I know this, I know Hudson jeans is like super high end. I have never found them not like super skinny. So I generally don't pick up skinny jeans unless it's something that like I know is going to move. Um, but I found these cute little, um, they're Hudson, they are size 24. Five, so I think that's like a size four, but they're little flare jeans, which obviously is having a moment right now. I I think we're gonna see the last couple of years have been all about these like 90s baggy jeans. I think we're gonna start to see the slimming of the leg this year. Kind of just kind of my spidey sense is telling me that we're going into like a more boot cut flare moment. I'm gonna keep those baggy jeans. <laughs> as long as I can because uh, comfort and I paid my price with skinny jeans for all those years. But these feel absolutely positively brand new. I don't know if these were ever worn. That's the little label you're looking for. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'll get. These were probably $200 new. I see some other similar jeans. I don't know like the name of this, this model, but I see other kind of flare jeans with some sold comps in the $60 range. So I would be delighted with that but um you know i'm always gonna bank on probably 30 but next up now i can't ever turn down a we the free piece we the free for whatever reason we the free and fp1 their lines from free people always sell really quick for me uh they're i think we the free is their more like basics line but people really love it so this uh, is a size large it's a little pointel jersey can you like i don't know if that detail maybe here Pointel, see how there's like little, they look like little pin pricks through? That's a pointel knit. Um, and it's trimmed with lace with a little bow. It's got kind of a mixed fabric situation. So it's got a band of a rib fabric here and then a rib fabric on the bottom with, this is what they call a lettuce hem. Um, in case you're ever like looking to, to keyword things up, that's called a lettuce hem where you have that like little squiggle. Um, but this is in perfect condition. It's a size large, it's black, it's we the free. I'll get $25 on that all day and I would be willing to bet that this will sell within like a day of me listing it. Next up, this is another brand that always sells really well for me, but um, I don't I don't know if this model is going to move really quickly, but this is Gymshark and there's no external labels on this, I don't think. But this is the, that's the logo you're looking for. Oh, is that showing up there? Also, please don't mind my nails. I'm giving them a breather and they look, like hot trash right now. Um, but this is like a pair of pink kind of crossover waist leggings. They're in perfect condition. These don't feel like they've ever been worn. Maybe 15, 20 bucks on these. You know, I can't ever turn down a Gymshark piece, but um, this color combo, this, this model, I don't know. I don't know. Usually I find simple like solid color leggings and they fly. They fly and the sweatpants also fly out, but um, you know, again, if you are sourcing in a more expensive um, place, like maybe you're paying $5.99 for a pair of pants or a pair of leggings, use discretion. You know, I paid a dollar for this, so if it sells for $15, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you paid $5.99 or $6.99, that's really going to, like, cut your margin down. Next up, oh my god, this was such a cool find. Okay, so a couple months back, I found the most incredible going out top in the whole world by Tracy Reese. Most of you who lived through this era will remember plenty by Tracy Reese, who was her, that was her diffusion brand. But the, the piece that I found was like hand beaded. It was the most, I will, I will link that haul down below. Guys, go watch it. Cause it was, it was the most gorgeous shirt I've ever seen. I mean, it was heavy fully beaded, just stunning. And this is another piece by Tracy Reese, New York. And you can see it's still got like the little um, dry clean tag on it. I just thought this was so pretty. So first of all, it's got a bone top. It's strapless. You have your little gum strip here to keep it up. But I don't know if this is showing up. Can you see that this is all like little strips of cloth? There you go. You can see it a little bit better right there. So it just kind of like lays down into like this little short cocktail dress. It's beautiful. It's all silk chiffon. 
um, you know, the construction on this. This is high end. This was probably a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar dress back in the day. It's very Y2K. I can see any girl like rocking this today. Uh, it's kind of a classic silhouette. The colors are beautiful and it is in perfect condition. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Another one that I will try to make sure that I get on a on a ship with me when it does eventually sell. I don't think that this is going to last too long. I think I got 80 bucks on that going out shirt. Again, go watch that haul. Like you need to see this shirt if you haven't seen that one yet. Um, so I don't know, maybe 50 bucks on this. It is just beautiful. And it kind of reminds me my sister in law's wedding dress was like this. Uh, this kind of like strips of fabric all woven down. I think hers was waters. <clears throat> Next up, one of my favorite brands to find that's Eileen Fisher. I thought this little sweater was so cute. It's 100% cotton. And it's kind of like a loose open knit, you would probably have to wear something under this, it's a little sheer. But I don't know if this is getting picked up by the camera, but there are little tiny sequins on it. So it's like just a hint of glimmer, <laughs> but not a lot. I think this is so pretty. It's a size medium, and just a gorgeous little piece. You know, I love finding Eileen Fisher. You know, Eileen Fisher retails in the $300 range. This is probably a $300 plus sweater. It'll resell probably somewhere between 30 and 50, depending on the model. And it's just one of the things that I love selling because number one, you know, I'm getting a great price. You know, I'm getting a good sale, but the person who's buying it is getting a great deal on a sweater that would otherwise cost them 300. So win, win, win all across the board. Next up, now this is an older Zara piece, but I could not leave it behind. I couldn't leave it behind. This is 100% silk. And look at this. It's like a little scarf print wrap skirt. This needs to be steamed to kind of fluff up this little knot, but isn't that pretty? I mean, it's a little nothing skirt. It's not lined. It is as like wispy as could be, uh, but it just looks so rich. This feels like Gucci to me. This feels like Gucci or Versace from like the 90s. So beautiful. I don't know, maybe 30 bucks on this? I have no idea. I've never found anything like this and it is just so pretty. Next up, I've got this cute little piece and I know that this is gonna be like something that sells in the summer, but I couldn't leave it behind. This is a cute little jumpsuit from the company Rails. Rails is super expensive. This was probably close to $300 new. It's got pockets. I mean, obviously, like, the quality on it is evident. You know, like, Rails is expensive. That's the label you're looking for. Can you see that? This is a size large, which I love to find. I almost never find Rails in size large. Perfect condition. Feels like it was maybe never worn. This cute little blue and white stripe, like chambray. It's got a nice drape to it. It's got smocked back so you can really kind of customize that fit uh, which is always appreciated by somebody like me who is a little bit larger in the bust um, things can get and it's got the belt <laughs> win 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 I think I'll probably get somewhere between 40 and 50 on this maybe a little bit more I have to check out uh, sold comps on this but this was a great find and a brand to be on the lookout for for sure next up I couldn't again all the summer pieces that I was finding um, this is Vineyard Vines main line. I just have to retack that little corner on. Um, Vineyard Vines always sells. It's always in style. It's always classic, always preppy. It's this beautiful like little cotton dress. It's got cute little like subtle flutter sleeves that have like a little, see how kind of like tulips, I think that's called like a tulip hem there, how it like picks up in the middle. A little pin tuck in the back. It's otherwise in fantastic condition. Like I said, I, I just have to tack this on. I'll probably reinforce this one a little bit, but size eight, which is a great size to find. This is an easy like swim cover up. It's an easy like one piece wonder for the summer. Vineyard Vines is super expensive. That was probably close to $200. So I'll probably get about 40 for that. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I think around the $40 range. That's what I've gotten for other Vineyard Vines dresses. Next up, oh my God. So this is a brand, this is vintage for sure. This is from the 90s. This is a brand called Rampage and anybody who lived through the 90s will know this brand because I think that they were sold in like Macy's. I think they were kind of like a major department store. These are 100% silk. Look at that color. I love it. I mean, I wish these were my size. The silhouette is so right now. It's got this kind of flat front with an elasticated back. Hello. Um, it says what size does it say they are? Oh, this is a size small. Okay, so these are a size small. They, I'm like, they feel like a size small, but vintage, you never know. They've got that little pleat in the front. I think that these will fly 
out of my closet. I think they're so cute. They, it looks like they have a little like, silk can get that like little line to it when it's been folded for a long time. It can be massaged out a little bit with proper dry cleaning, but I think it kind of adds to the look of this. Oh, I just, I just love it. I just love them so much and I wish they were my size. Super adorable. I don't know, probably 30 or 40 bucks on these. Again, 100% silk. I wish you could feel these. You know, some people are like, I wish I could give, send you smell a vision. I wish I could send you like feel a vision because these just feel like velvet. Oh, I love old silk. So cool. Next up, I've got another Saks Fifth Avenue piece. I just sold one of the little linen dresses that I found for a decent price. I think I got $27 for that. That's like the house label. I just thought this was so pretty. It's like a little top. It is a sleeveless top, but it's got, you know, kind of like these cascading ruffles down the side. Super pretty. I figured this can either be like a little mini dress uh, for somebody who's in kind of their wedding season, or it can be something for like a resort wear moment. Um, really beautiful. It looks like it's never been worn, maybe worn once. It has these cute little like loop details. I'm gonna guess 25, 30 bucks on that. So, so cute. Next up, another Zara piece. This one is from their main line. I could not leave this behind. I could not leave this behind. Look at this cute dress. It's got little like peasant sleeves with a smocked wrist, uh, which I love. Um, it's a midi length. It's this beautiful, uh, this beautiful like paisley color and it's, it's a full button front. And it goes all the way down with a little bit of a slit near the bottom. So stinking cute, probably $30, $35 on this. Um, I just, I just, this doesn't feel like Zara to me, but um, I just thought that was so pretty. It needs to be steamed, but that will be a showstopper once it is. Next up, this is a brand to, I guess, kind of look, I've never really found their tops. I've only found their jeans, but that is Seven for All Mankind, another super expensive brand. Um, and it's this cute little like eyelet top with this like double or triple layer ruffle sleeve here, a little bit of a boat neck, a button back on the closure. Um, just beautiful, probably, I don't know, 30, $35 on this. Their jeans generally go for a good price and their quality is really nice. Their textiles are always really nice. So um, definitely, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Let me get you up close on that place. Isn't that, is that like blowing out the camera? There you go. Isn't that cool? So pretty. It's like a natural color too. It's not white. I wouldn't even call this off-white. It's almost like a, like a light beige. Next up, remember when I said I didn't want to pick up too many free people pieces? Oops. Uh, couldn't leave this one behind, could I? I love these dresses. They fly out of my closet for me. Cute little peasant sleeves with that like eyelet inset there. Same on this full button front. Oh, it does look like a couple of little button loops are ripped out. Mm. Well, I'll see if I can repair that. If not, I will donate it. Um, that's a bummer. I just saw that now as I pulled that out. Uh, but so cute though, isn't it? If I can get this, if I can get that fixed in a, you know, way that I'm comfortable with selling, probably 35 or 40 bucks on this. These dresses go, re they're just in high demand. They really are in high demand. And I think this is a size, oh, it's a size small. Size small. <laughs> I love, I love free people sizing. It is such a grab bag. You just never know. Next up, we are getting there, guys. This was something that I grabbed and I've never seen their apparel, <laughs> but uh, their shoes sell for a good price. And this is Allbirds. And this is like a cute little navy blue hoodie. Really, really cute. It's got the little logo up in the back. There's that stitched, that screened on. Very, like very nice quality. Definitely 100% cotton. I think this is gonna be French Terry. Yeah, that's a French Terry. By the way, French Terry has, it's kind of like a looped back. That's usually how you can tell. But it's got this little uh, like logo there down in the bottom corner. It has pockets, hello. It's not, a, you know, this is a hoodie. It doesn't have like a traditional kangaroo pockets. It's pockets on the side seams. Some of the sold comps I saw on these was like 40 or 50 bucks. I'm probably gonna bank on 20 to 30, but super cute. And again, just like a really nice basic navy uh, sweatshirt. Not sure if this is women's or men's. Not sure at all. Not sure in any way, shape or form. 
I'm gonna guess men's, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research before I determine which, but great find. Next up, I've got this piece from Lafayette 148. Lafayette 148 is a super high-end brand. Um, like, like probably $800 for this skirt, kind of expensive. Um, this is like a little linen skirt. It's got pockets. It's beautifully made. It's this pretty pink uh, paisley. I'm not sure what this will go for on the resale. I've never really found their stuff. Uh, so I'm interested to see how it does. Again, like when I say high end, I'm talking very expensive, like Neiman Marcus expensive, five to $800 for a skirt, thousand dollars for a top, you know, whatever. Um, I think this is a little bit older, probably 90s vintage. So we'll see. I just, you know, I saw the label and I needed to roll the dice on it. Just, you know, like if this is something that resells for like 60 or 70 bucks, like that would be incredible. Um, so I'll try to report back when this does sell, let you know what it does go for, but uh, very cool. Very cool find. I mean, I'm very interested to see how that does. Next up, another Victoria's Secret piece. I think this is probably early 2000s, maybe around 2010. Uh, it's again 100% silk and it's this cute little like cheetah print uh, silk cami. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of cheetah print this year. Just heads up. I, that's kind of what I'm seeing from trends uh, starting to bubble up. But this will go like no matter what. Leopard is, le leopard or cheetah print is a neutral. It's a size small. I think I'll probably get 35 bucks for this because it is silk and it, because it is Victoria's Secret and it is a sought after uh, brand and it is in fabulous condition. And I think that this will sell very quickly. It's a beautiful shape. Ugh, I wish that was my size. Next up, this is a brand I've talked about before. This is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Uh, this is a defunct brand, so they no longer make it, but there are some hardcore devotees of this brand. So especially if you can find these kind of like boho tops like this, every piece I've ever had has sold, with the exception of like a one pair of men's jeans, um, every single piece I've had has sold within one or two days. Um, this is a large size, which is exactly what you want to find. It's a large, um, it's this beautiful gauze with this pretty like floral print on it, very boho silhouette. It's got a little smocked bottom. I'll probably get, I don't know, 35 bucks on this. And like I said, it will probably sell super quick. Also, little lace stripe down the, little crochet stripe down the sleeve. What a find. And guys, be on the lookout for that brand. Um, I, I, you know, the thing is like, it's defunct, so you can't get it new anymore. So as, you know, as there's fewer and fewer pieces on the market, the price might even go up for that. We don't know. Next up, another little Zara piece. This is, I, this looks to be like brand new without tags. Still have the little bar here. Again, the triangles, that means it's that tariff collection. So it's going to fit a little bit smaller, but it's this adorable little like vintage 90s style, ditzy floral this is like um you'll hear the term a ditzy floral that typically m refers to like this kind of tiny little floral um this tiny little floral pattern so if you find something like this and you are selling it you want to use the term ditzy floral because it is something that people look for cute little flutter sleeves little kind of square neckline this has to be steamed out but a, an adorable little piece and it is a size medium this this will go this will go super quick. It's just so like everything going for it right now. Next up, I think we're down to like three pieces here. This is a cute little robe that I found and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell this, but this is from a brand called Piyama and they make, you know, pretty high-end loungewear. We'll see, I mean, I might even keep this as like a swim cover-up. I just like this little pattern. I think this is one size, no, it's, oh, it's an extra small. Maybe I won't be keeping this as a swim cover-up. Maybe I'll gift it to somebody smaller than me for a swim cover-up. But it's got these cute little like monstera leaves and this nice little pink. It is horribly wrinkled, but very cute, really nice quality. Definitely keep your eyes out for that brand because it does sell pretty quick. I found a few um, pajama sets uh, a couple years back and they flew out of my closet. Very, very cute. If if I had if I had the belt for that, that pro this probably would have gone for like 40, 45 bucks. Next up here, and I'm for sure not going to sell this uh, just because I don't think it's something that will sell. I will sanitize this on my own. But this is a little sleep mask from Lunia. 
And if you are not aware of this brand, get aware of this brand. They make really high quality mulberry silk pajamas. That's kind of what they're known for. And they sell retail for like $300. And if you find a set to, to resell, um, easily you're gonna be getting close to $100 a piece. Like very, very expensive and very highly sought after. Like, and, it, it, and you'll sell for that price within days. Um, but this is like a little silk sleep mask. I've been in the market for a sleep mask. This doesn't feel like it's really ever been worn, but I'm still gonna like sanitize it on my own. Um, but this was a find. This alone, this little sleep mask was probably somewhere in the $80 range. So be on the lookout. Lunia. Bolo brand for sure. And two more to go here. Now this I found and I'm like, boy, this really feels like free people. And it feels like one of the more in demand type free people pieces, but I couldn't really read the tag. Let me like, I wonder if any of you can actually read that. Let me get my face out of there. <laughs> I don't know if that's even showing up, but it's a size, this is a bigger size. I think this is a size large, but any of the free people pieces that have like an interesting cuff like this, they just, I mean, they sell for so much. <laughs> like they, I mean, people just really love the fit of them and they seek out these interesting cuff shirts. And in particular, the Henleys with like the like embellished cuffs. I see sold comps for this shirt in particular, and it is free people. I, I was able to find it through like the RN number. Um, I see sold comps in the $50 range for this. Now, do I think I'm gonna get that? I like that little like inverted pleat there in the back. Uh, this is also in great shape. You know, maybe 30 bucks, but like I said, I do see sold comps for that exact shirt in $50 range. And finally, one of my favorite Bolo brands to find in the bins, you don't find it all that often, um, and that is Viore. That's the label you're looking for. If you can find their joggers, they will sell in a day. This will still probably sell in a day. This is a men's little thermal shirt. It's in great condition. It's navy blue. I think this is a size medium. Um, you know, let, let me put it into context. Brand new, this was probably 98 or $110. That's about where their prices land. On resale, this will still probably sell for like 50 or 60 bucks. In fact, my husband had a pair of Viore pants that he just wasn't wearing all that often and he just sold them he listed them i think on monday sold them on tuesday for 60 bucks so be on the lookout for this if you have any viewery pieces in your closet that you're not wearing free up that money free up that money while they're selling hot super super fantastic find and one of my favorite brands to find in the bins but that is it guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me while I go through this haul. This is so much fun for me. This was such a good haul. I mean, like every piece I found, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I feel like you'll go and you'll find good brands, but it'll be like the basic pieces from that brand or like, you know, you'll find a free people, but it'll be something that that's on the market for 15 bucks. I feel like so many of the pieces that I found this week were like the good pieces from that brand, you know, like, this little shirt here, like that's super in demand. You know, all of these things I think are gonna be super in demand and I think a lot of these are gonna sell super quick. But for all you numbers nerds guys, the retail price on everything here is about $5,400, which again, just like I will never not be amazed by the value of stuff that I'm able to find in the thrift store. Um, I spent $38, there are 38 items, of course I was at my favorite bins location where it's a dollar per piece. Um, and I think I'll probably get somewhere between $1,100 to $1,300 in sales. I'll settle on probably $1,200 for my calculations. Uh, that would leave me between like $900 and $1,000 in profit, which is, and this is one of my better return on investment trips in the history of me doing this, that's about 26x ROI. In 
incredible. But guys, again, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for hanging with me while I do this. You know it just warms me to the core to know that there are other people that are into the weird stuff that I'm into, celebrating different finds that you find in the bins. If you had anything that you found this week while you were out thrifting uh, that is a treasure or a grail for you, let us know in the comments below. You know I love celebrating those finds with you. Uh, but if you had fun, don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. But guys, without further ado, have a phenomenal week. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one.